Welcome to Mango Bay. Today we it's a actually terrifying episode where we talk about the rise of AI. Uh, thank you. It's Come wild. Again. It's great. It's terrifying. Mango Bay. Mango Bay. Uh, uh, uh. For the exclusive content, don't forget to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash mango bay. Mango, 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 mango bay. Welcome to Mango Bay, one-stop shop for South Asian recklessness. We are two best boys who are South Asian comics in the scene. Usama Siddiqui and Pranav Bahari. Hello. We should say our names more at the beginning of the podcast. We should. That's true. Um, and we bring the South Asian jungly, the stories, the wilderness, the fun, the just the vibes. Just the vibes. Uh, get on our Patreon ASAP. There's just no excuse not to now. We are on the Patreons. We got the Discord. We got the early release. We got the bonus content. We, we got, got the, the archived episodes. Archived episodes. If Banned guys- in 38 states. Yeah. Come on down. Absolutely. And also, guys, don't forget about Jokes Russell over here. Yes. Producer extraordinaire. Third Mango. Joe, what did you want us to plug? Uh, yeah, Jokes Russell. Or you can go to YouTube and type in Cheese Show. Yes. And it's the first thing that comes up, and it's exactly how it sounds. Cheese it's a show, show about yes. cheese. It's getting revamped, and we're going to definitely have you guys on soon. For the yeah. Paneer app. <laughs> sure. Mango Bay presents yeah. Cheese, cheese Show. Cheese Show, dude. <laughs> 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 the Mango Bay Show. <laughs> You mean. Um, jungly story. Let's jump into it, dude. This is a story uh, from our week that's a little crazy, a little wild. Um, uh, yesterday, I was doing a show and uh, it was West Side, and there was this, place, like, this Indian lady in the front alone, and she was just getting drunker and drunker, dude. Like, literally oh. just sort of pounding them down, right? Shit. Like, she had every type of alcohol. Yeah. Like, the wine was there, the fucking uh, spritzer. Oh, she's mixing? She's Ew. mixing. She's matching, dude. Um, she's fucking going in, right? And it's it's a rager. Where, where is this? West Side. Oh, Comic Club. And you think okay. West Side is like just a bunch of Jewish doctors not laughing at stuff. No, no, no. This is like, West Side's, you know, a great club. It's fun. Sometimes it get a little gnarly. So I'm seeing this lady just like drinking, popping back and popping back, interrupting all the comics, yeah. just kind of going a little off. And I'm like, and I'm like... You know, last comic, and I'm like, okay, let's go, bitch. You know, let's let's go You're for the this. headliner. Headliner, right? Yeah. And so I go up, and she's just sort of like locking in like a a truly and a and a fucking vodka at the same time. Like, she's double fisting two <laughs> Caucasian <laughs> drinks, two Caucasian, two drink. white lady, the, the old white three way, you know. And, uh, and suddenly, I just start, I, I'm hitting it, getting the jokes in, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. She's just there. And I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna dress her. Yeah. She looks. She seems like she's teetering. She's doing the seesaw pendulum oh, thing. Oh no! Like, let's not even deal with her, right? The and, best thing is when you have like a audience member that's like that, and then they end up just passing out. Yeah. And you're like, I don't even have to deal with, deal this. with it, yeah. right? <laughs> um, you know, you're, you have riffs ready to go, and she's just dead, right? Great, you're dead. This is great for my set. So she starts like swaying. I'm like, whatever, blah blah. blah. Kill here. You keep jokes. Then I say. Um, I grew up Muslim. Mm-hmm. There was a joke to lead into like some anti-Muslim, you know, some the gay stuff, whatever. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, I grew up Muslim. Immediately, right? She just fucking, <laughs> and she's like stands up. She's like, why did you call me Muslim? No, I'm Hindu. I'm Hindu. No, shut up. Do not call me Muslim. Shut the fuck up. Do not call me Muslim. And she stands up. She starts like yelling. And I, I, you know, I, I'm like, I didn't call you Muslim. And you know, you can't use logic yeah. <laughs> in this. Um, and everyone's like, it's comedy. And everyone's kind of like, what the fuck? And then she's just yelling, I'm, I'm Muslim. Going to I'm like, is this some BAJP type? Wait, is she Muslim? Was I, she Muslim? She was Hindu. Okay. And I think maybe she was some, I don't know. I, 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 she, thought she, she thought I called her Muslim. Right. And then she gets up. She's like, I don't like you. I don't like you. So she was like, Fabi. Fabi. Oh. Yelling at me. She said, I don't like you. I think you're a bad good guy. <laughs> bad person. Like, go. Just, just, just saying it. Everyone's quiet. Jesus. And then they take her away. And I'm like, shit, guys. That was my actual mom. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. You know, some riff, whatever. Yeah. We got out of it. But it was crazy, dude. Like, I didn't even call her Muslim. She might have been some BJPS motherfucker. You know, who knows? So I, but she was like, I'm Hindu. Don't call me. Muslim. Uh, God damn! It was so weird, bro. She we got she got really ethno on me, you know. Dude, I hate that <laughs> shit. Crazy Hindus don't be fucking acting the fool at That's comedy what I'm shows, saying, dude. 
All right. Y'all, y'all, at, y'all acting like us right now. Okay. And let's, I was, yeah, don't act all <laughs> like, don't act all Muslimy at the shows. <laughs> You pieces of shit. This is a classic Muslim thing. Don't energy. ever come for my boy. Also, I'm saying this is the official comedian yeah. of Hindus. That's Don't saying, ever bro. come for my boy. This is my guys, religion right here. Guys, I'm so bad at Islam. I'm Hindu. Okay. That's basically true. I'm back with y'all. Don't worry. Oh God, that's so gnarly. We we riffed out of it. It was good. Like we ended up getting a lot of jokes out of it. It was fun. I'm gonna have a reel uh, pretty soon. Just about to have this interaction. Oh, on. God. It's just so wild. But I mean, the idea that like. You know, we keep talking about Indians like assimilating. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Fucking yeah, yeah. white heckler aversion. Yeah, seriously. Talk that, about like- a white heckler. Dude, wow, she got all liquored up and like yeah. the fucking like Vera Sarva, uh, fucking uh, what's his name, what? uh, fucking the guy <laughs> from like the Shiv Zane and and uh, he's like a yeah. no, Bal yeah, okay. he was like a notorious drunk though yeah. too. Who was this guy? He was like, it's not really, it's more of like a Marathi yeah organization. People said it's like a very Hindu, which it probably they probably just used Hindu okay. a little bit, but it's more of a Marathi thing. But this guy would just sit back, he looked yeah. like a total mafia don. Yeah. He'd have the shades on. And he was a total drunk. So I was like, maybe she's channeling the spirit of Bal Thakare. Bal Thakare, was he a leader? Like Hindu leader? Yeah. And yeah, he was yeah, always yeah. drunk? He was Marathi. like the Rob yeah. Ford of... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Ship Hindu. Sand, which I think is the... That's the Marathi, um, uh, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Organization. Is it very radical? They were kind of radical. Yeah, they're fucking annoying as shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they're retarded. <laughs> Ship Sane. Ship Sane, yeah. It sounds fun, dude. It's, it should be a good time. Lord yeah. Shiva's the man, yeah. you know? Yeah. Smokes weed. Yeah, sounds you know? sounds like a fun time. Yeah, Marathis can get intense though. Yeah, Marathis are pretty intense. They people. get pretty intense, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, Marathis. I've never. Wow. So you got you got some communal violence at the show. <sighs> little Black Friday on me. Wow. You know, a little, a little, <laughs> Black Friday. Little little tinge of Black Friday on your boy. <laughs> it was crazy. It was. I think I I don't know what she was out for that night because she was alone. Had oh, no friends. Fuck. Front row. She's looking for a fight. You know, this Dude, woman. and she's getting hammered. I bet like, she was going through Your it. last episode was like two Boston guys like just kind of coming down the bed. Yeah. I think people go out sometimes to fight. It's like, dude, what an dude. insane yeah. I mean, agenda. if you're going out alone, hammered, and yeah. sitting in the front row of a comedy club, you're like... Oh, my God. You're fucking... You're there to... You're there it. to throw down. Yeah, you're there to throw down. You're I mean, there to be a heckling piece of shit. Joe? I was at a gig middling this weekend, Here we go. or last weekend, and someone went on stage... When the headliner was up. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Who was the headliner? Bobby Kelly. Okay. Oh, my God. And Bobby allowed this or was it just riffing on him? So I go up and I do all my mostly jokes about eggs. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and they're great jokes about eggs. <laughs> so stage, right. stage right, there's these two couples. Yeah. And the one guy, I talk to him, ask him, do a little crowd work with him. And I can tell he's just off. He's yeah. on some kind of drug. But he's weird, but I'm just like, this guy's ruining the flow. <laughs> okay. So it didn't register as this guy's yeah. disruptive. So I just right. left him alone. And then by the time the headliner went up, they got into this huge, uh, he was just being weird and disrupting the show. So he made fun of the table and kind of just let them left them alone. So yeah. I went out, left and got snacks. When I came back, <laughs> I went around the, around the corner to go yeah. get like a bag of chips. When yeah. I came back, this guy's wife was... On stage Hell with yeah. Bobby, like in in this guy's in the headliner's face, oh my just God. like you don't talk to my husband that Holy way. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. There we go. And then uh, one of the other audience members, who was like a big dude, who was awesome, he was yeah. laughing at everything. Yeah. He got up on stage and like broke the fight up. And then the two other guys at the table started getting up what and going the towards fuck? the stage. So everyone they got like literally pushed out, and half the audience sold out show. Half the audience got like stood up and was just like booing these people like people this is like a jersey shore crowd wow. too so like they would have all kicked their asses yeah, yeah. they they had to like drag them out and they got in like a fist fight with the owners and stuff what like that what the fuck yeah and the, the the only good person at that table though there's one guy yeah. who's a good guy and he like apologized and paid for the bill at the end and uh-huh. the owner was like you gotta find some new friends, man. <laughs> yeah, Jesus seriously. Christ! I love the mob. I, I I love how it needed required mob justice <laughs> as opposed to the actual club owners like yeah. intervening with a bouncer. When you start beating up club owners, yeah. <laughs> there's no respect in Jersey. There's it, no respect. I got yelled by at by Bobby after the show, being like, "Why didn't you film it, dude?" Oh. I was like, oh, "Would have made a good clip." Oh. <laughs> you should have filmed it, dude. Yeah, I just didn't it. have my phone with me. And also, I'm concerned about my friend who's yeah. on stage. I wanted to, like, yeah. How, that wouldn't look very good if he got attacked. I'm just like, doop doo just holding up if, my if, phone. If he actually got hit and you're just like, Bobby, for the clip stuff. You know, I get <laughs> it. It would not be nice. 
What's the opposite of World Star? This is like the white version of World Star. <laughs> the New York Post. <laughs> the New York Post. <laughs> New York Post. Yell that out. DMZ. DMZ. That is hilarious. Of course, Jersey is fucking out of control. And Jersey is. That's where that um, <sighs> that Jewish comic Ariel Elia- Elias. Yeah. Got the, got thrown. Uh, that like made her career though. Yeah. So yeah, I understand Bobby's impulse. Uh, that's where I got heckled uh, for like uh, fucking twenty minutes. By Did you rant. tape what happened last night to you? Yeah. Yeah. It should be taped. I'll, I'll send it. Oh, I gotta see. Oh, this. dude, it's crazy, dude. Oh, it's gonna do so much damage I, 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 to my know, Hindu community. And, but. Dude, you know what? Is that I, I used to get angry as fuck at these motherfuckers. I didn't get angry at all, and that allowed more riffs. Because once you're not in the certain emotional state, you're like at a center. You're starting looking at all the angles. Yeah. And so it was just like pop, 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 and I was like, oh, that's how you handle even the worst type of person and stay in right. the pocket and just start always, always, always. How always. did how did Bobby fucking take care of like it? It was very interesting to see how like a veteran like that deals yeah. with it. So while this crazy stuff was yeah. happening, the reason she came up on stage too was because he was he really laid into them and was yeah. really mean to them afterwards. Because he's yeah. like, I left. He's like, I let you guys go. It was fun. Yeah. We, we were joking around, but now you now you guys are douchebags and yeah. like you guys need to go and like was yeah. in, like like that. All right. And so while this commotion was all happening, he just stood up there. And just drank his water uh-huh. and just let all this chaos happen. Yeah, and then he jumped in. And then I'd say it took, it felt like five minutes while he was just standing there in silence. And he, the only thing he would really say was he like apologized to the crowd. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, you guys got to see this. You know, it's a comedy show. Yeah. It was really sincere. And then uh, once everything settled down, Everyone was just chatting yeah, and yeah. stuff. And then he sort of started just like talking to people. And it took like another two, three minutes before everyone started listening Mm-hmm. Everyone quiet down. And then he sort of went right. This is right before his last bit. Yeah. Like he literally it's said the badass. first first line yeah. for his last closing bit when this all happened. Oh, so he yeah. went back into it. And then even then it took like two minutes before people started like laughing again. Yeah. But then he ended really strong and stuff. But yeah. yeah. Holy that's shit. That's a badass. That's a badass right there. Yeah. No, that's a pro. That's a pro. That's, that's exactly pro. how you do it. Just fucking. Because I'm at a place where yeah. like... If somebody's fucking a little bit, I just immediately, I'm like, I go fucking goblin on them, you know? If I get a ha-ha when I wanted a ha-ha-ha, yeah. I'm in. Yeah, I'm exactly. Like, oh, you can't have, what's, what's the last ha go Yeah, so, I, 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 so that's nice to, because yeah. you don't know, because sometimes yeah. you're like, oh, well, does the crowd want me to handle this? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Does they want? Do they want me to fucking, is that my job? So that's always a kind of anxiety that I have with hecklers. Like, do I have to fucking? Right. I guess whatever energy you bring is the energy that they they follow, yes. right? Because you're on stage, you're above, you're the guy that came to see. So, Rob, I mean Rob, Jesus Christ, Bobby, fucking just knew what the fuck was up. He just yeah. knew exactly how to handle it. Yeah, that's that was it, dude. Plus, sure, plus, I guess a situation like that where they're mad violent, like you don't want to stoke it either. Yeah, bro. It's not like somebody who's just trying to be goofy. Yeah, right. It's like genuine hostility, dude. Front row people. What is that now? I know. What is this front row energy now where it's like, yeah. I don't want to do front row. So now the normal people are on the back and now these fucking uh, sociopaths are all in the front row. Well, it's because like now, because crowd crowd work comedy yeah. is fucking everything. Yeah, now. dude. So now it's like this weird type of comedy. Yeah. Everybody's making shitty clips on Instagram about crowd work. That's and that's is. where all the fucking energy is. You know, like the Gallagher watermelon smash who wanted to be in the front row? For the, yes. They want that now. They want they the want, verbal exactly. watermelon smash. So I seat people for my show, and uh, I'll always ask them, like, do you guys want to sit in the front? Yeah. And most people will say no. And then that's when when you put them in the front. Because the ones who say yes are the ones who are going to be fucking crazy. Well, that's the thing that's great. There's some people that say yes, and I'm like, okay, great. That's great. People need to sit in the front. But the people that walk in are like, can we sit in the front? Yeah, I'm like, what the well, fuck exactly. is wrong with you? The guys are like, I really want to do jury duty. You're like, you yeah. want to fucking <laughs> fuck up somebody's life? Yeah, you want to send someone to death row? <laughs> That's what that means. So fucking chill the fuck out, these front row people. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. You know what's interesting? I I have stopped uh, doing like the joke jokes if someone's genuinely angry or, or mean. I did this thing where I stopped the whole show. I kind of ruined my set, and I I was happy I did. Yeah. This girl just kept yelling. And I stopped the show and I was just like, you know, this is not, a, it's not okay. This is a bad thing you're doing. Yeah. You're being a negative person. This is not okay. I stopped the whole show. And then she kind of didn't laugh. I started bombing immediately. Yeah. And I kind of didn't like, recover. I kind of at the last joke got laughing at, but I kind of saved the show for the whole, for the whole, for the whole show. Yeah. yeah kind of yeah, sacrificed yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But dude, these bitches are out of your control. Like, it's, this is the problem. It's bro. a, it's a, it's a, the true pandemic. Yeah. It has actually been Dude. the rise of like crowd work clip comedy. The, the rise of individualism, maybe even like 
when pandemic happens, it's like me, 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 merged with the rise of TikTok. It's now like, what I can be famous. A, a real version well, of that. To is me, there. that's always been the heckler mentality of like, right. I want to be a part of this now. Right. You know? But now see clips where the guy is actually in the clip, this 9 million like clip. Now you're actually seeing it. Yeah. It's not just I'm famous for one night. Maybe I can be a clip. Maybe I can be a fucking. I know. Woo! It's a small handful of profiteers, <laughs> dude, who are making money off the crowd work. Dude, clip. every every movement has the fucking profiteers, right? Oh, every everyone, every uh, revolution He's bringing has us its... down, dude. Crowd work is bringing us down, dude. It's not fun. Anyway, anyway, anyways, it's always women's that are hecklers. It's always women's. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> women coming at us. It's always them. There's always there's dudes to be fucking fucking up in a big way too. Though. <laughs> You want to jump in? Let's jump, jump in. Let's talk some, some stories. stories. What, are we, what are we talking um, first? We doing some AI stuff today. Oh, dude. Yo. Well, the fucking head of Google, or yeah. the, like one of the top dogs at Google's AI thing just yeah. quit. Yeah. I was like, this is getting too dangerous. Yeah. I'm like, you fucking moron. You, of course, you fucking idiot. Like, how could you not see this from the beginning? Ah, dude. This is the problem. This is the have you not seen anything from science fiction? Like, have you not read any sort of? It's, it's not even. It's just like, yeah. what else do you like? That's it's such a rudimentary thing that this right. shit is going to take over. Yeah, and you're the guy who knows that. If this is the guiding principle of this country: Good. is knowledge without wisdom. That is the guiding principle. It's also money, right? So, like, yes, knowledge without exactly. wisdom merge with money. Merge with money, and now you're just gonna. You, you, it's like fuck around and find out the country. You yes, know what I'm saying? Exactly. So dumb. AI, dude. I, I you know, I kind of already fucking. Does his job using AI? It's all like his whole like you know whatever. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no, but it's like listen. I it's like you use you use yeah. these fucking tools now. We were talking to Joe. I was like Joe, check out yeah. this AI tool. He's like, you guys trying to replace me? What's going out. on? He's as out. if that could ever happen. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right? I was like, no. Just like give you more <laughs> and, mic time, and bro. As, and as he said that, I, I knew Joe was gonna. Feel that I'm like, listen, bro, that's a dangerous link you're sending right now. <laughs> I funny thing is, I didn't even look at the tool. Right. I was like, is this something we could use? Yeah, yeah. Somebody else sent this to me. Harris Alterman sent it to it's me. Called, it's called the Joe dot Russell. You know, <laughs> hey, can we use this? And it's like, dude, literally, it's a Joe. Um, you know, because here's the thing. It's like, thank God we're in live performance. Yeah. Thank God. Because anything that's not live anymore is now getting just slowly. And, the whole writer strike right yeah. now. One of the fucking uh, guiding yeah. things that they're they're fighting over is like do not replace us with AI Dude. don't feed a bunch of scripts to yeah. AI and have them pump pump out. and the, the studios are like no. No, no 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 we'll talk about it yeah we'll just talk about technology every year you know the way you're, you told you asked your mom like this time are we gonna get the chocolates yeah and she's like yeah that's what they're doing for people's lives. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it when we get there. Yeah, we'll talk about it when we get home. And it's like when you get home and then you, they have a new kid and it does everything better than you it's over it truly is. It's so this whole like love thing, it's over. It's over, dude. Okay. It's so fucking over. Like this whole humanity thing, done. It's terrifying, dude. Yeah. It is terrifying. And I'm glad. That's why I'm glad we do Mango Bay. Yeah. Because I see the stuff that's happening with the writer's strike. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, we don't prepare at all for this. You know? <laughs> AI could never do this. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you know? You can't program the word cunt into AI. <laughs> it wouldn't work, I think. <laughs> There'd be some error messages at least. <laughs> it is live performance that will stay the game right now there will be a new resurgence i think of live performance yeah people will start thirsting for the for the not computer now when that hump happens in two years you know who the fuck knows when they're gonna have like the fucking oh there's a new animatronic robot that yeah, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's no longer chuck e cheese buddy yeah. they say we ain't chuck e cheese no more yeah. and it's gonna be fucking out of control because right now we're still at chuck e cheese level we're still like kind of, yeah they're doing this right yeah. but when they get that you know and I think there's going to be a lot more time. There's going to be like 10 years, maybe 15 years. Yeah. Where they finally get started getting robots, you know, <sighs> and that, that, that really could be. The problem is that we can't stop it because yep. they're too worried about like global rivals like China uh, yeah. using it and then outstri and, outstripping it. And, and there. if China showed anything is that they don't give a fuck. That's true. They will do anything for progress. They had, the, they were the first uh, guy, uh, one to test off like, the guy who wanted to cut his head off and then uh, replant it. That was Russian. That was a Russian. That was a Russian dude. No, no, it was a, Chin it was a Chinese. Uh, I thought that was Russian. He was, was in China Russian when he wanted to do it. I think that was a German guy. German <laughs> does make sense. These are all three of the most evil nations yes. of all time. <laughs> Every 80s villain was either one of these races. It was China, Russia, or fucking. It's true. The doctor that wanted to do the head transplant. Yeah, he looked like the guy whose face melts in Raiders of the Lost Ark <laughs> with the glasses. I swear to God, I love that scene, dude. Perfect, perfect scene, perfect image. Um, it's fucking dangerous, man, because it's true. Is that if we don't do it, China, China will get on it. 
Exactly. They will get on it. And what the, what, what the fuck do we do? We just we just do it. We live in a world devoid of wisdom, dude. It's just purely yeah. driven by profit, power, 100%. just, just absolute and total vanity over what we can do. You know? And that's the thing is like, there is no world where we don't try to be the first. Exactly. And so w- everything else is second to that idea. Because there's no community anymore. So yeah. everyone's just like, me, 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 look at me. Dude, the, ch- the AI, people, because all artists were like, we're good. Yeah. We're good. And then, they, then the uh, AI won the artist uh, competition. Like the most. Yeah. Like some, uh, like send in a picture and win a billion dollars and like the AI won. It's right. And you look at the picture, it's the most beautiful thing it's ever. It's fucking seen. beautiful. It's gorgeous. They write, they write poetry. Yeah. They do everything, dude. Yeah, bro. It's like they're so bad at jokes for some reason, which is like a very funny thing that like AI is still not funny. Like even like the most advanced computer is still yeah. kind of shitty. Yeah, at I jokes. Mean, it's wild because like the people at the top who are guiding all this are just like they're just untouched by anything that happens yeah. in the real world at all. Yeah. So they're just like, no, I, we need to see how far we can push this. Dude. Consciousness. Nah. It's like fucking kill yourself, dude. 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 Yeah. You know what? Kill yourself and then download yourself somewhere. Uh, yeah, exactly. Put yourself on a USB. You know? But this is the Google thing, right? Yeah. This is like, it, it's like the guys at Google and their whole thing was like, don't be evil. That was their like right. motto when they first started. And they're like the most evil people. now. Well, so, I mean, they used to have like a uh, Google offs. So like with every Wednesday they'd have talks. What do you think about us droning Somalia? Right. Let's talk it out. Yeah. And they're all like, I don't think it's good. And they're like, all right, let's bag it. Let's bag it. Let's nice. bag it up. Now they're using our software to, <laughs> to GPS for the drones. It's and, and they're, they're like, um, like, uh, yeah, you know, defense was like, oh, you want Jeeves to have it? Yeah. I know. You want, because Jeeves will do it. <laughs> this power you, in the hands of Jeeves. You know Jeeves will do could it. Could be catastrophic. Jeeves is an old white man. <laughs> He hates Somalia. Bing? <laughs> More like bang. <laughs> Boom. It's over. <laughs> this is what I don't get about people. Like, I want to be rich, but I'm like, why? what is the motive of people who want to be that rich? Yeah. Like, what are you actually getting? Like, what's, like, like, what is the actual thrill there? I don't get it. It's just mattering more. The same way we want people to laugh at us is the same I thing, I think, that drives them. It, exactly. You it's know? their comedy. It's their comedy. It's their wins. It's their ego. What but they... it's like they've already hit a level. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I mean, I'm just like... You, know, you see CK at the head level still trying to get more laughs, trying to get better specials. Yeah, I mean, look, you're yeah. right. You're like, right we all have that. that in some way, that sort of insatiable ego, uh, you know, sati- satiation. Dude. But... It's stressful to think about. But ours is actually c- constructive. Like, ideally, we're putting our neg- most negative influences... Into something that yeah, is it's alchemical and that right? has utility, right? Yeah, we're turning so, shit into stuff that can make people laugh saying. at if a visceral th- level. That's one of the best things in my life is I take this ugly thing of like me, 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 comedy, comedy, gotta get laughs into this thing that actually is healthy to people. People like it. People like it. Gives joy. Maybe not to people directly around you, but right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not your girlfriend who yeah. doesn't get a joke. <laughs> Alice. Um, but uh, with theirs, it's like their actual ego is destroying our entire fabric. It truly is. Of humanity. <laughs> you know so, the vanity is so off the charts, <laughs> you know what I'm dude. Saying? Can't your thing be like uh, philanthropy? I like those guys. Right. Who are like, they need to make the most philanthropy. I'm like, all right, you're also damaged. Yeah, they're like, I need to be seen as the most saintly person. <laughs> yes. It's like, I kind of prefer that. I like this guy. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm driving on the Bucks of Plenty Remy bridge now, but it's fine. Yeah. Because at least you made a bridge, yeah. right? You have to name it after exactly. yourself. I get it. Okay, that's weird. Bucks of plenty. <laughs> I thought you were saying like, because I'm from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Those, are, those are like the kind oh. of, like Puxatani. Oh, the cities, yeah. <laughs> it's like a Native American name, Bucks the, of plenty. The whitest people, Ben. Sort of guy. <laughs> from the Bucks of plenty Hey, we live, we live in Cherokee, uh, Mississippi. I, I, feel like, like, I feel like that was a Native American slur for white people. When Bucks of plenty. Came, like it's the Bucks of plenty the tribe. The Bucks of plenty's over the here. The old Bucks of plenty tribe. <laughs> The kills are plenty. They're coming over. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. So apparently, and this is part of the story, is that Joe Biden called in the original form of AI in this country, which is Indian tech wizards. Hello. Still is. Sundar Pichai of Google. They're, it's not I. It's I. Yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> original AI right there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> is um, Sundar Pichai. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Sachin Nadella. Uh, Sachin Nadella. Nadella. The, the, the big two, baby. The big two. The fucking Indian. Uh, if there was an Indian yeah. Avengers. There's, I think there's a third, <laughs> but I'm just forgetting. Um, Lena Nair from Chanel. That's not <laughs> tech. <but> that <laughs> also, OnlyFans, by the way. Oh. Indian uh, CEO. That's wild. Dude. You know? Hell yeah. Kama Sutra started at the wow. bottom. Exactly. Now, now, we're, now we're on the top. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's the Indian Avengers had to come to the fucking uh, White House. They got called in <laughs> by <laughs> Joe Biden. They're like, what's going on? With by this? Shield, you know. Hey, I want to ask you something. <laughs> Are you? What's your favorite? They probably came in. He probably forgot. Yeah. He's like, what's your favorite curry? <laughs> huh? Hey, can you, put, like? can you put that in the chat, GPT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curry. It's spicy, your food. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you a doctor? <laughs> my doctor's my doctor's Indian. <laughs> what are you uh, doing? You're good people. You're good yeah. people. We have a president now who's dumber than Bush. Like, yeah. he is fully dumber. Truly. Than Bush. Truly. And he, he's running again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, our president right now is like 1979 AM. Dude, he, <laughs> you know what I mean? Run again. You can barely sit again. Yeah. All right? That's it's fucking, just, it's like it's, that's fucking chill. It's so depressing having this dusty guy who I literally, when I imagine him exhaling, I imagine dust coming out of his mouth. <laughs> You know the beginning Have you ever seen the movie uh, The show Are You Afraid of the Dark mm-hmm. They always To start the episode They put some flu powder Into the fire And the fire does this <laughs> That's what I assume Every time he breathes Or farts Is that that fire <laughs> thing Comes out I always said That I always want The perfect president Would be just like A jar of pickles <laughs> Where it can't vote Anything or sign anything yeah. into law, and we have that, but and now it's bad. He's yeah. so. really <laughs> actually it smells like vinegar too, probably. To be honest, I used to say, yeah. I used to say, I used to when it was Obama years, I used yeah. to be like, yeah, well, mark my words. In yeah. ten years, it's going to be a comfort dog that's strong on the defense of Israel. Holy shit! Strong on the defense you, of Israel. You foresaw Biden? You know, yes, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Me and my wife were writing a movie about like Air Bud becomes president. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> and it's like this, the scene that's in every Air Bud movie. It says nowhere in the rules that a dog can't uh, play yeah, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the loophole. The loophole, dude. <laughs> I watched all those, bro. I watched Beethoven. I watched uh, oh, Air Beethoven, Bud. Yeah. All those shit ass movies. Yeah. I even watched Like Mike. I was just all into that fucking... Golden Receiver? Yeah, Golden Receiver. <laughs> it was always a pun, right? Yeah. It all um, started with Lassie. Lassie. Now it's like Beethoven fucks my wife or whatever. <laughs> Beethoven cucks my <laughs> <Yeah>. wife. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> it's getting more dark now. It's getting way darker, dude. So Joe Biden, which is not promising for him to call in... These two like geniuses at the head of the two tech fucking. Why is so Clifford so big and red? Yeah. He's fucking my wife on his partner. Period. I know, all right, sorry. All right, we can go. We can keep going. I just had to get to get it out. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> had to. And I think it was. I think we all agree. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, needs to be done. Good. <laughs> um. So we got the two top yeah. top dogs, two tech top dogs, Indian, and who have interest, by the way, in because Microsoft has invested ten billion in AI. Yeah, so with Google, they, why, they, why are you bringing the guys who are going to fuck us over? Yeah, they're collabing with Google. What do you think they're going to give you, you know an honest assessment? Like, of, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. They just invested all their money into this because they know it's going to be the biggest thing. Yes, exactly. On Earth, and my thing is. I don't want to be that guy who's like, I'm still a comic. I'm not affected because it's going to affect every one of my friends. Yeah. It's going to affect the shows that we're on. Dude, it's going to affect The shows that we, that we star yeah. on. You know, this, this thing has already taken away some jobs that I was going to have. Yeah. You know, and so the idea is like, dude, do we, like, it seems antithetical to everything the Enlightenment wanted was like, you know, human progress. Yeah. You know, and to say that we're not for it because I'm for, I'm not for human progress all the time. I think that's lame. Well, it's like, what is progress? Right. What does it mean? You know what I mean? And I think all of us are still tied to this like 1700s idea of the humanists who were like, were like, what if, what if we were God? Right. Yeah. When well, then they be, that idea is still fucking in our heads. Hondo. This enlightenment ideals of like humanism and human first. And yeah. God is a watchmaker. He just made the watch and now he's just watching us. It's insane. <laughs> dude. And it's, we're the gods now. It's so demented because it's, it's all. It's it's exactly that, right? Yeah. It's just like the focus on individuality. Yeah. And the thing is, everybody on every side of whatever politics you are is all about this too, in just various yeah. different ways. It's so fucking vain and so fucking evil. It's dumb. It's and dumb. It's so dumb. Is what it's it dumb. Is. It's so. And dumb. this is the beginning of our lack of collectivism, our lack of community. All these yeah, things start from these ideals of like liberty, equality, fraternity. Right. And it's like you. These ideas are still what's powering this AI boom. It's like, I know, mean, in a sense, like, right? like I'm going to create this thing. I, right. The people who are making this are like, I will create the new well, thing. Well, they all figure out a yeah. way to talk about it and be like, no, this is going to enhance our yeah. freedoms. It's going to make everyone richer. Yeah. And, yeah, right, motherfucker. Yeah, right. Eat my fucking ass, dude. Dude, there's going to be an app for that, dude. There is, literally. <laughs> it's the <laughs> <Yeah>. chat. <laughs> chat. Chat GPT. Chat G- I've said that before on <laughs> oh, stage. Oh, yeah, you have. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> How can I help you this evening? Chomp GPT. 
<laughs> it's so disturbing, dude. I don't, I don't know. I've actually been, this is, there's very few issues that come up mm. in whatever's happening, war or climate change. I'm, I remain fairly unaffected in many mm-hmm. ways, like in my way of perceiving it, but the right. AI thing has me scared Yeah, because it is rapid. It yeah. is happening very yeah. quickly. And there's probably stuff that we don't even know about that's yes. just in the military right now. Yeah. You know, like wherever we're at, the military has like 9,000 times or like something way more evil than what it is. Yeah. So if there's like a self-driving car, there's like one that uh, only attacks black people that the military has. Yeah. So I, I'm wondering what the military AI right now has. I uh, Dude, I mean, you're saying it's not going to come for comedy. AI is going to come for stand-up comedy. It is eventually. I'm just saying right now in this yeah. moment. I do it. Give it five years. Yeah. Yeah. The way that technology is advancing, like yeah. if you've if you ever used Chat GPT, yeah, it's good. It's fucking good. Yeah. If you feed this stuff, hey Sam Kinison, you feed it all yeah. the comedy greats. It's like give me a, a, an edgy stand up comedy set. Yeah. It'll fucking pull it off. It's still not really funny. I mean, I've, I've done this I've kind of thought experiment, and it's like it's almost there. But that's why you got to go deeper into yourself and just keep doing your own shit. Um, or then did you, they, they can plug in your, your actual memories. That's the next step, right? Yeah. Plug in your memories and then they just have Dude, a better version of your story than you could write. It's, it's terrifying. It's going to come for us because they're going to be able to do stuff with voice. Yeah. They're going to be able to do, look at the stuff they're doing with like sex dolls and shit, yeah. right? Sex robots. They're going to combine that. All of this stuff is going to come together to replace us, dude. Wait, I thought you said things are going to get worse. (laughs) (laughs) Twenty twenty five, harder boners. Yeah, or something. It's just like what the fuck, dude. Like it's it's going to be it's 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 basically going to lead to the genus mass genocide of humanity, without even killing anybody. I mean, it's it's going to start. Like, what is humanity at that point? You know? Well, look, the the other thing is that now they've figured out a way to clone humans without, like, the oh, common boy. stuff. Oh, you boy. just need cells. Yeah, the stem cells. Man. Yeah. That was That's coming all too. you need. I saw that coming when I was five. I was yeah. like, this is on the way. It's, it's, so it's, they, they got Dolly, the sheep, in 91. Yeah. They were sitting on this for years. Yeah, dude. So you combine that with all this other shit with the AI shit. Yeah. Like, it's going to happen. I think it's time we take a little page from our good friend. What did he do? <laughs> what did he do? Huh? Now, I'm not going to say what he did. I'm just saying. I'm just saying what did he do? The, the actual John Connor fighting okay? the Terminator. Now, ISIS. I'm not ISIS. Listen, I don't like ISIS. I, I'm anti-ISIS. No. I've said this a couple times on the podcast. You have. You know this about yeah. me. You've said it once. I've said it maybe it one, wasn't, half a time. wasn't even convincing. And I said JK LOL after yeah. that. But if y'all looking for some new targets, you should blow up. Maybe not a tower. Maybe. Yeah, data center. Yeah, data center. Server. Farm. Server thing. What about like this in their Pachai's backyard? No, uh, not people. Not people. Just, just things, devices. Like, those are easy too. You know what I mean? You know, I'm just saying, you know. Like a natural gas pipeline or something. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, here's what I don't like about that fucking, <laughs> that fucking British douchebag who what? quit uh, at Google. Right. It's like, dude, if you're scared about this, you need to stay in and there. And then figure it out. And then sabotage it. Mm-hmm. Do mass sabotage on it. Kill it. Like you're right there in the belly of the beast. Like, I'm gonna leave and fuck off to my farm and give a give a uh, some uh, you know a benediction mm-hmm. about the harms of this before I fuck off and retire. And with all your money. Yeah, you know? exactly. Fuck off. Now here's the thing, dude. The one uh, light in this tunnel right now is that data scientists are brown sometimes. You know, yeah. so hopefully you guys code for us. Just <laughs> code for brown supremacy. Maybe. <laughs> my my brother's a data scientist in uh, San Francisco. Yeah, working for the man. Works at Amazon. Yeah. You know, the forefront, AWS, forefront of this fucking, uh, you know, this charge. I want to learn about being a data scientist. I want to become one. He's uh, quick with it. He's a fucking coder. My brother is a smart ass bitch. Yeah. And I'm just saying, like, like just put my algorithm in there. Put some put my TikToks in there, yeah. man. Let's see what's up, dude. Like, okay, listen. We're going to go keep talking about the end of humanity on Patreon, patreon.com slash mango bay. Come on down. Um, and jump on. Yeah, jump on. We'll be here. We'll be there. We'll be there. Your mango bed. Hey.